Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here, hope you are well. So we are gonna go into Keynote straight away. Um, you can find Keynote simply by pulling down from the middle and typing in Keynote. Uh, you can go to and find it in here. Uh, mine's already open. You can go and search for Keynote and open it up. You, when you see this, you've never seen this before. This is the Apple menu and it's all at the top. I'm gonna to go to plus, this is view, remote control, and this is if we want to select more of them. I go to plus, I'm gonna choose a theme and then I'm gonna go and add some images, the image that we're gonna give you, and um, this will be on Firefly or in your Google Classroom, or we'll have air dropped it to you in class. Uh, go to uh, basic black, I'm gonna choose a simple basic black for this. Now usually when you're in here, what we're gonna do is just edit this page. We don't want these boxes, and the quickest way to do this is just to go down to the plus at the bottom, go and add a new slide, and then add a blank one in here. Go to this one, right click or long press, and then you can go and delete it. Now at the moment, I can't add my name, I can't rename my, my um, I can't rename my slides for some reason, and I don't know why, but I would take this time just to rename them, so you can pause the video, and rename this and give it your class your name because don't forget this is these are yours are shared devices so there'll be other people's keynotes in there so make sure yours is named you know what's going on uh, once you've renamed it uh, class name thing okay uh, that's your class your name and whatever it's called you can call this animation practice is a good idea you can call this animation you can call this uh, lesson one, two, and three, if you want to call it that, okay? We are going to go to these menus at the top. So we've got play, we've got the format painter that allows us to change the way that shapes look and behave. Um, so in here, this is going to become quite useful later on. This is where we go and add media. This is where you go and add someone you can collaborate with. And this one here is the three dots for extra menus and settings that allows us to go and change it into that iMovie that we want to go and edit later. We're going to come to that one later. So we're going to go to plus here, we're going to go to photo, video, and then we'll have given you this one so it'll be the, the most recent one with the rocket. Okay, so go and tap on that and it'll bring it into your page. Okay, so far so good. Okay, what we're going to do next is we are going to duplicate uh, this in a moment, but we want another blank page to be able to go and paste the bits and pieces into, okay? So we need spaces where we bring the, the same image over and over and over again. Now, inside this page, we need to get, a, we need to sort of only keep the rocket for, for, the, for the time being, okay? We only want the rocket to begin with because that's the key element that we're gonna make move, all right? It's the piece that actually looks like it's moving. So first job, we are gonna go into, um, the formatter, we are going to go to edit mask and then we are going to grab the sides here and we are going to bring it over to there. You'll see it snap and what we want to do is just trim it so that all that's left is the rocket and the turret of the what looks like a castle. So it looks like that, okay. In fact let's go and edit that a bit, a bit tighter so that it gets rid of that white at the top. There we go, that's a bit more like it. Next job is we're gonna use instant alpha, okay? So we're gonna let you do this for this video, okay? Let you have a go yourself. In the next video, we're gonna show you how to use instant alpha because instant alpha, I would use the pencil for instant alpha. But instant alpha allows us to go and take away whole pieces of color out of an image. So before we go into the next video, so we're gonna go and take away sort of that whole black area there, the whole darkness that's behind um, the image and then just leave the rocket and the turret in its place and then we can cut things out of the, of the turret and the rocket in a moment. Okay, that's what we're gonna do next. What I need you to do is go and give it a name, make a new presentation and go and bring that image into your file right now. As always, year five, good luck.